Well, as long as we're showing everything around in these past few videos, we are now in the office of our president, Jim Laib. And Jim has been in the family, if you will, God, 20 years. I mean, I've worked with Jim at Genesis before that, I think it PS Audio. Anyway, a lot of years. And Jim uh, is basically runs the whole place. And if you can see it, this, this is his famous chili cheese dog that he always bets people. <laughs> and there it is. So this is, this is Jim's office, and he's, he's really a key part of PS Audio, keeping everything running, everybody on track, keeping our spirits up, because, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Okay, here we go. Wolfram in Austria writes to me, we all, I hope at least, know that the quality of the power supply has a good share in the sound quality. Indeed, that is true. Now, I wonder, and now you, but uh, why we use power generators to convert alternating current to direct current to then have a clean alternating current. Okay, so he's asking about power plants, regenerators. Um, and so why do we do this to then supply all of it with each audio device and then again in the audio device to convert it to direct current? Why don't we just use a power generator like your power plant to generate clean DC and then use that power to power the audio devices? Well, that's a great question. And the answer to that is simple. It's just not practical true enough that just about everything in our audio systems runs on direct current, battery voltage. So even though we plug it all into the AC outlet at the wall, that AC outlet is providing 120 volts. It's rare we ever use that much voltage. It's even rarer that we even use the AC. Now, you, know, like you might have a heater at home or a motor or something that would actually use the AC, but all of our stereo equipment, it uses DC, direct current. So within every one of those pieces of equipment is a power supply, and its job is to convert that AC that we work so hard in a power plant to generate purely and perfectly, regulate it, low impedance, all that good stuff. We then take that and convert it to DC. Now, one of the reasons we have power plants is because the cleaner, but mostly the more regulated, the lower the impedance, the, the more perfect the power source of the AC, the better the DC that we get. But to answer his question, let's imagine for a moment that we had a box that made DC that went into all of our equipment. Well, the first problems other than people don't make equipment that accept DC um, <laughs> for, for a number of reasons, is just about every product within your hi-fi system uses a different DC voltage. For example, in our DAC, we have need of a lot of 5 volts DC, 2 volts DC, 1.3 volts DC, 25 volts DC for the uh, output stage. So we have all these needs. And so we start with one higher voltage in some cases, or sometimes we have multiple transformers to give us varying levels. So that's problem number one. A power amp needs 70, 80 volts DC, but my DAC maybe needs 15, 25 volts DC. And my other digital equipment may only need 5 volts DC. So that's your first problem. What DC voltage does it need? See, AC and power transformers solve that problem by giving us the specific voltage we want to then convert into DC. And lastly is the practicality of it. You'd have to change the entire industry to accept DC, and then you'd have to buy a DC converter that had all these various voltages, it, it, would, it would be a nightmare. But it would be cool. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.